Hey guys, my name is Stefan and um, I have Crohn's, I have Crohn's disease, it's hard to talk about this, like I don't know how to find my words for this video, but um, okay, the reason I'm starting this channel, it's because I barely found any information about Crohn's disease when I was diagnosed with it about a year ago. And I want to share my journey with this illness for as long as I live probably or as long as I can do it on YouTube. So Crohn's is really really hard. It's hard to live with it. It's hard until you get diagnosed. It's horrible. And you barely get any, any information. Like I went on YouTube and there was there was only one channel i'll put it in the link below because i think she's doing a much better job than i'm doing now but uh, yeah it's only been one channel that i found relevant information about this illness everything else that i found were people trying to sell things and take a profit which if you are in my position and you've been diagnosed with Crohn's disease you probably would go for it I had a few thoughts about going for it and buying all crazy stuff online and trying only a fruit diet and all crazy shit with bone marrow and which eventually you realize they don't make sense but yeah so I said to you at the beginning of my journey, um, I didn't know what it was. That's the beginning. The way things start for me, it's simply, we went out one day for a pizza night, we had fun, and next day, the pain has started. And it was like horrible. It lasted for ages and it wouldn't stop. So I went to my doctors and the doctors just said, well, rub it off. Just check with us again in six weeks if it's still there. Uh, after six weeks, we did a blood test. They said, yeah, something may be off, but we need to run another blood test. So the process took for ages. The process to diagnose me with Crohn's disease took about a year. I'm not blaming the doctors. It is. It is what it is and you have to run with it and you put yourself to risk but the doctors are doing everything that they can to help you it's um, it's partially part of it is lack of resources and a part of it is just the way that things are done so you're gonna get people that this is the way that things are done so they're gonna follow that and you're gonna find people in hell that they're just gonna say i can't do anything more for you and that's that's all right i guess because for me in my case eventually things wrapped up together but yeah so one day i was perfectly fine no pain next day i was in hell and that's where it started we done the blood test eventually we repeated the blood test after another six weeks then we repeated the blood test another six weeks then i was eventually booked for um, a colonoscopy which took about four months to book that in and then i was put on a list we done the colonoscopy eventually after about six months it was supposed to be four but things got in the way and yeah it, it's going to take a lot of time if you've been diagnosed with Crohn's or you are in those pains and you are in the process of getting diagnosed it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort from you to continue with your days it's hard the pains will be there the pain will not go away and it will feel like you are dying every single time what helped me in those pains is that what helped me in those days 
was that I had my partner which was there for me and she helped me a lot um, and I just rolled with it one thing that comforts you uh, for me it was sitting on my uh, belly so sitting face uh, face down putting a pillow definitely putting a pillow on your stomach and sitting face down I don't know why but it relieves some pain I tried some water bottles they were good they help with the pain as well and those days I never want to leave them again they are horrible your whole day is going to be about sitting in bed barely doing anything and feeling in pain all the time that's that's what Crohn's it's all about or at least it is in my case and I know that other people have been in the same place so I hope your journey if you're watching this to get information about Crohn's I hope your journey is much better than mine honestly like I don't wish that pain for anyone and yeah so let's go on with the story after the colonoscopy it took a while for the diagnosis to get in place and after the diagnosis got in place it took a while to get assigned to a doctor after I got assigned to a doctor I got assigned to a nurse which is a lovely person that has helped me a lot so if you don't have a nurse a dedicated nurse to yourself you're gonna be in a lot of shit because you're gonna have a few moments that you're gonna need to talk about this and that that's your nurse that's the person that knows what what you're going through and she's there and she can explain what that medication does and what why you should take it why you shouldn't take it it gives you all the options currently I'm living in UK and you're gonna find out that depending where you live on the globe there are other treatments and the process is a bit different but here in the UK it takes a long to get diagnosed but things get better after you get diagnosed so it took me about a year to get diagnosed and we started with prednisolone it didn't work straight out of that it didn't work had some problems with it didn't gain weight but uh, it just it didn't work eventually we moved from that because it wasn't reducing the CPR or CRP levels that was the protein levels in my blood from what I remember that my doctor said so yeah I didn't reduce that those levels in my blood cells or something along those lines I'm not a doctor I just want to share my story because I was looking for this when um, I was diagnosed and I didn't find it I, I, as I said I only found one channel and that channel will be in the description yeah I think there should be more people doing this and if you are going to Crohn's I definitely encourage you to come on YouTube and tell your story and help others like us because it, it's a lonely world if you're just yourself people don't see this illness they think that you're okay and they expect you to be a normal person but it's not especially until you get treatment you are not a normal person if the pains are as horrible for everyone as I experienced them you are less than half of a person but let's go on uh, I ramble a lot and you're gonna see that this is the way that I prefer to talk I start with the subject go somewhere then go somewhere else then come back to it so I was saying about the first year yeah the first year was about diagnosis getting diagnosed after the, that year uh, we started the treatment with prednisolone it didn't work then we stopped that treatment and I was on nothing the pains came back they were still there on prednisolone but not as bad so I still get some pains with that or at least I did 
and let me think so after prednisolon it took a while and then eventually we went on a zatopin after countless of blood tests we went on a zatopin and it's the best thing ever honestly yeah you get a, a risk of cancer like that was one of the first things that we talked about you get the risk to cancer and that's because your immune system goes down but uh, you know what wearing a hat works works very well if you want to wear a hat protects you from the sun because that's one of the very few first that's one of the first risks that you put yourself through it's um, it's getting a higher risk to cancer but yeah just you know so after prednisolone and a few countless blood tests uh, me and my doctors we started the treatment on azatopin i mean they presented me the treatment i said yes anything just uh, make the pain stop uh, you put yourself at some health risk one of them is uh, cancer azatopin is the best medication ever it stopped the pain uh, I don't feel bloated. I don't have problems with my bowel anymore. I'm almost normal. There are days that the pains come away, come back, but I think I'll do another video on this one. I think we'll keep this video to be about the first year and how it has been for me for the first year. So let's do a small recap. One day, perfectly fine. Second day, in a lot of pain and for a year i went to blood tests every month or every six weeks depending on what the doctors required uh, eventually a colonoscopy which after the colonoscopy i was diagnosed with crohn's and after i got diagnosed with crohn's disease eventually i was um, allocated a doctor and a nurse the best thing is that I have a nurse that I can talk to and she understands those issues. In UK, the system works okay, it's good, but it's very slow. So hopefully, I think things will improve for the next generations and you know, people will get more resources. Thank you very much guys. See you next time.